you fun seekers. We're coming to you today from one of my favorite places in the state of Virginia. We're standing right here in front of Morris Country Store. They are known for their world famous hot dogs. You might debate whether it's the best hot dog in town, but there's no question, it's the hottest hot dog in town. This place has been serving hot dogs since 1959. So y'all come along and join us as we go inside and check out Moore's Country Store. Let's go check this place out. Let's do it. This is what Moore's Country Store looks like as you pull into the parking lot. It's located right alongside Highway 460 or Richmond Highway. Moore's Country Store has been around since 1926. And you'll see that tree coming out through the roof. That is one iconic thing about Moore's Country Store. And I'll show you a closer look as we get ready to go inside the store. One thing you don't see at many restaurants, you see a tree growing right up through the roof. And this tree is a large sized tree. And you see as it goes right on up through the roof. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like coming out the top of the roof. And here you notice, where the tree comes out of the roof. Instead of cutting the tree down, they built around it. As you walk into Moore's, this is what it looks like. They have a seating area that you can come over here and sit down and enjoy your food. I'll pan back around. I'll show you what the store looks like. There's your drink cases and beer cases. And Right over here, they have a picnic table that you can sit at and eat. This is where you order your food at. And this area right here, this is the countertop area. They have a few chairs that you can sit in and enjoy your food. And this is where your food is freshly made at. Here is the Moore's World Famous Chili Mix. If you want to try some at home, you can get some here. If you don't live around here, you can go online and order it. I believe if you buy two, the shipping is free. And they also have a selection of different types of pickles, jams, pear butter, apple butter, and different items that you can buy to take home and enjoy. We have the hot dogs being freshly made. And you'll see, it's getting ready to put that fresh, world famous chili on it. Well, let's take a look at the menu. Starting over here with the breakfast items. And then the sandwiches. In the center, there's the world's famous hot dog. And then we have the Moore's Burgers. Miscellaneous items. And here are the sides that they have. Our food has came to the table. I'm gonna show you what all we got. I got me some chili beans, and you can see that steam just rolling out of those. So they're good and hot. I got myself a hot dog with everything, with the beef chili. And then I got a hamburger with lettuce and tomato. Everything looks good. Can't wait to try it out tonight. All right, Carly ordered herself some chicken and dumplings tonight. You've already tasted them, Carly. What do you think about them? They're really good, as always. <laughs> you love chicken and dumplings, don't you? Yes, I Take do. Take a spoonful and let the viewers see what they look like. Cindy ordered two hot dogs with mustard and extra, extra chili on them. Also, she got herself an order of french fries. This is what Cindy normally orders. She loves the chili here at Moore's Country Store. This is some of the hottest chili that you will find anywhere. David, this hot dog is amazing as always. You can look at it, you can see the chili. The 
got a red hot dog. I don't even eat red hot dogs normally, but here it's delicious. When you order food here, they make it to order. So the food always comes out hot. You probably see the steam on different, in the pictures of our food and stuff. It's just amazing. And this chili, I mean, it, it's the best to me. I, I can't go anywhere and get a hot dog this good. I guess that's why they call them world famous hot dogs. Because you talk to people in other states, they have heard of Moore's hot dogs. You're right, it's world famous. They sell the mix here if you wanna make your own chili at home. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Anybody in the area will tell you how good these hot dogs are. If you can stand the heat, this is the hot dog for you. I'm gonna show you my chili beans. I'm gonna scoop them up, let you look at them. You see the beef, you see the beans. And I see the steam. Pieces of tomato, onion, they are definitely hot. I'm looking forward to giving them a try. All right, David, let's go ahead and try your food out and see what you think. Give these chili beans a try first. It's been a while since you've had these and you couldn't remember how hot they are. You're gonna have to let the viewers know how hot it is, if it's something that you can tolerate. I think I can tolerate this. I can tell you one thing, it's definitely not hot as that chili right there that you got. Well, I know it's not as hot as this. But the chili beans, they got a great flavor. Like I said, I hadn't had them in a long time. I'm glad I tried them again tonight. But um, to me, they taste real good. I really do like them. If you like chili beans, I definitely recommend trying these. You won't go wrong with it. Y'all may have seen a video from Moore's Country Store before. We did one back during COVID. And since then, some things have changed. Back then, they had six stores total. Now they only have the one store, and that's the one we're at tonight. This is the original. They sold the other five, but they still carry the Moore's chili in those stores. So, but if you want to come to the original and only Moore's store left, come to the one right here in Richmond Highway in Campbell County near Mount Athos Road. This is the original. Moore's Country Store has been around for a long time. It's been in business since 1926. That's almost 100 years. But they did not start serving hot dogs until 1959. I'm just glad they started, David. And um, I can remember they used to have a store. It didn't look like this one. And that burnt down in 1978. The original owner, which was Billy Moore and his son David, they rebuilt that store. This is the store that you see here today. And um, certainly I'm glad they did rebuild it because this is one of my favorite places to stop. You can always stop and get a good meal. It's always quick, it's always good, and it's always hot. I'm gonna try this hot dog now. All right, try it and let us know and what you think. Like I said, one thing they, did, they didn't used to have was beef chili. Now they start carrying a beef chili. This is made right here in the house. I've got my hot dog loaded. I can eat this chili because it's not hot, and it's not spicy. It's always got a good flavor, and I've always enjoyed these. Now the chili that I have, the hot chili, that's actually turk chili. So if you can't have beef and you like heat, that is an option for you. And the hot dog here, when you get it all the way, it comes with mustard, slaw, onions, and the chili. But the beef chili, I really do like it. It's very good. I recommend that. If you like a chili that's not hot and spicy, you'll definitely love this one. Probably have those dumplings. What dumplings? Oh, you get the clean plate award for finishing that. Yes, I do. All right, maybe you want some more dumplings or something else off the menu. Maybe. This is my hamburger that I ordered. These are a hand patted burger. These are fresh. And I'll show you what the burger looks like. And I've got lettuce and tomato on mine. Y'all know I do not eat mayonnaise, so. It's just an old, it's just a good old, old fashioned, fashioned burger. Hamburger. Put and a little salt and pepper on it. And if I didn't love these hot dogs so much, I'd get a hamburger. But the burgers have always been great here. They're always fresh. You can't go wrong with a good burger. Got a good taste to it. They're very satisfied with everything I've had tonight. All right, this is Moore's Original Mojo. It's a seasoning. I put it on the fries. You can buy it, you can take it home, you can cook with it. It adds a little spice to your life. So if you want a little mojo, get your bottle to go. Let's take a look at our receipt from Moore's Country Store. Carly had the soup of the day, which was chicken and dumplings. Cindy got the two hot dogs with mustard and extra chili. 
I order a French fries. Got a hamburger, a hot dog, and I had the beef chili on mine. Some chili beans. It's been a long time since I had those. And I got a two liter Coke. And the total came up to be, with tax, $30.18. Well, Cindy, what did you think about your experience tonight here from Moore's Country Store? David, you know you really don't have to ask that because you know my experience here is always awesome, wonderful, amazing. I absolutely love it. If you come to Moore's, let us know. Let us know what you get in your hot dog. If you get a hot dog, if you like extra chili, light chili. Well, if you like that country chili that David gets with the ground beef. Anyway, the hot dogs are delicious. All the food is delicious here. I know I keep talking about the hot dogs because that's what they're known for, and that's my favorite, but you saw that menu. They have lots of different things to choose from on the menu. I did want to mention about the tree, David. You mentioned a little bit about it earlier, I think, in the video. Mm -hmm. That tree has <laughs> it runs through the roof right there when you walk in. It used to be through the middle of the store before the store burnt down, didn't it, David? I can't really remember because that was been 1978 when the store burnt. So I'm right. not, not familiar, but well, I do I, I, know uh -huh. instead of cutting it down, they built around it. Because it's such an important part. You know, people have always known that tree. So I don't know if it was right in front of it or if it was inside it, but they did build around it. Well, Cindy, tonight my food was wonderful. Everything I had, I enjoyed it. Those chili beans, it's been a long time since I've had them. I couldn't remember how spicy they were, but they were not that bad at all. I ate them and I'm not burning up right now. My hot dog was wonderful. I love that beef chili that they have. Um, if you don't like hot, spicy food, and you want to get chili on your hot dog, I definitely recommend trying the beef chili. The hamburger was good as always. That's always a fresh hand padded burger. So always get good food here. It's always hot and fresh. Highly recommend stopping by Moore's Country Store if you hadn't been here. Stop by and try it for the first time. You will definitely enjoy it. Well, Carly, what did you think about those chicken and dumplings tonight? Good as always. Very much recommend them. Extremely good with the crackers. Girl, they were steaming hot when they came out. I know. I had to wait a few seconds before I ate them. Anything else y'all like to add tonight, Cindy? No, just that all the food was served sort of hot and it was delicious. And make sure to stop by Moore's and try it out for yourself if you haven't. Yes. Well, folks, we hope that y'all enjoyed this video of Moore's Country Store right here at Mount Athens Road near Lynchburg, Virginia. Tell the folks what to do now, Carly. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our latest ghost video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. They also have t-shirts for sale, so if you'd like to get one to take home, Moore's Hot Dogs. It's a family tradition since 1926. And it's a good family tradition if I, if I could add. And this is what the back of the shirt looks like. See the hot dog with the world? Because it's world's famous. Hey, I just wanted to say one last thing. Everybody here is always so friendly. And that's one reason I like coming here. Because you do feel like you're at home when you come into Moore's Country Store. Yes, you do. I have never had anybody to be rude. The food always comes out quick. Just a great place to be. Yes, it is.